What's going on guys? I've got here a 2004 GMC Sierra and I'm using this car to point out to you the location of the AC relay, the AC fuse, and a couple of other fuses that are also important for the operation of the air conditioning. So we're gonna start by popping this cover open right here. And please note on the back of the cover you can find some spare fuses. In here we will find a 10 amp fuse that provides power to the HVAC controls. So this sends power to the buttons and the switches inside the cab that you use to turn the AC and the heat on and off. So let's pop that out there. Very important fuse. Now moving under the hood, there are two more fuses there as well as the AC relay. So we've got to open this cover up. We just pull it out, set it aside. No spare fuses on the back of this one. Now we've got a 10 amp fuse right here. Just like the other fuse I just showed you, this provides power inside the cab to the different buttons and the switches. And we've got our main AC fuse right here. Power from this fuse is actually sent to the AC compressor when the AC relay is engaged. And of course, this is the AC relay right here. Now my favorite way to troubleshoot an AC relay is I'll have the engine running with the air conditioning turned on. I will then tap on the relay. Sometimes relays can get stuck and by tapping or wiggling the relay, you can make it start working again. Further troubleshooting beyond that, we can remove this relay and set it aside and swap in a different relay. An outstanding relay to swap with is the horn relay. If your horn works, you know your horn relay works. So we can take it out and put it in the position where the AC relay was installed. If after making this swap, your AC kicks on, then that's giving you a pretty good indication that your original relay is probably no good. Now beyond swapping relays and checking fuses, there's another powerful troubleshooting step we can do. However, it can cause damage to your truck if you don't do this properly. What I'm talking about is manually powering the AC compressor. You can do this by connecting these two pins together. And I apologize, I spilled some blue paint all over the place, so it might be a little hard to see. But the diagonal pins here to here, connecting those will send power to the AC compressor directly using power from this 10 amp fuse here. This should cause your AC compressor to engage. Now I mentioned damage occurring. Uh, if your system is low on Freon, you can definitely damage your air conditioning circuit. Uh, or if your engine is misfiring, you can cause additional damage to the engine. Uh, this AC relay is computer controlled and the computer will not turn on the air conditioning if your check engine light is on for a number of reasons or if it detects that you're low on ref refrigerant. So uh, checking the refrigerant level is top priority. There's actually two ports here you can use to uh, check the level of refrigerant and you can also add refrigerant to the system. So uh, you'll want to add to the low side port, which I believe is the smaller one here. But um, yeah, if you're, and if your check engine light is on, you'll want to use a scanner to read into the codes and see if you have a misfire or anything like that. But yeah, I hope this information was helpful for you and a good starting point in troubleshooting the air conditioning on your Sierra. Please let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, any advice. And thanks for watching.